What up, Casey here with Living Youthful. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button. So today we're jumping into my final update on Tessamorel and why I had to stop injecting this peptide after 12 weeks when I was supposed to research for 16 weeks. We're gonna be discussing the six by two vial and the six by three by three vial of Tessamorelin from Peptide Sciences. So that way you guys can understand how to research it at home and get maximum benefits. Let's get into it. First, let's jump into the benefits of tessamorelin and why I started my research. Tessamorelin is a synthetic peptide that stimulates the release of growth hormone. It is primarily used to reduce visceral fat and improve body composition. Benefits include fat loss, increased muscle mass, potential cognitive enhancement, improved skin health, and possible cardiovascular benefits. From personal use and from the reports that I did on my video, I can tell you that I pretty much received all these benefits. Muscle quality was through the roof. I have so much striation and definition in my muscles that it's it's superhuman. My workouts were freaking some of the best workouts I've ever had. I could push through exercises that when I would usually quit or want to stop, I just kept going. I had strength but the size was just not there. I felt like my face was getting sunk in and it just was almost doing the opposite of what I wanted because it is such a fat burning peptide, right? That was the main reason why I had to stop. I started researching this peptide because of the cognitive function, because of the HGH release. Some people are gonna get results, see results quicker than others. Could take three to four months before somebody sees quality results. For me, it took about 30 days for these peptides to really kick in. This video right here, explains everything of which I did, how I was able to achieve these results, and the best way to achieve these results while researching peptides. Let's just jump into the six by two vial and the six by three by three vial, okay? So the six by two vial here, this is six milligrams of tessamorelin and two milligrams of vipamorelin. That two milligrams is the perfect ratio to the six milligrams of tessamorelin. But there's not eight milligrams in here of just one peptide, right? There's six and two. So we're not gonna put eight milligrams on the peptide calculator and the vial quality. If we're doing one milligram a day, then this is gonna last six days. For one milligram of tessamorelin, there's 333 micrograms of ipamorelin. So that's the perfect ratio. Ipamorelin, 333 micrograms, and tessamorelin, one milligram in one injection. And then there's six of those, so six doses total. This is the six by two vial. Now that's the same as the six by three by three vial. There's only six milligrams in there. So what we do is we add two ml and we pull to the 33.3 mark. It's gonna be 500 micrograms of CJC 1295 NODAC, 500 micrograms of ipamorelin, and then one milligram or 1000 micrograms of tessamorelin per injection. I don't really believe people should start researching this vial if they're just starting peptides. So that's that vial breaking it down, okay? This is my last update on tessamorelin, my final update. I'm not gonna be researching this peptide for probably a very long time just because I don't need this peptide. I like more CJC 1295, no DAC is probably gonna be more at my speed uh, just because I was able to gain a little bit of muscle size and it didn't burn fat so much like tessamorelin. So this is my final update. I hope that this was helpful for you guys, uh, informative. This is Casey with Living Youthful. If you guys are interested in researching other peptides or learning about peptides, definitely check out my channel. And with that said, if this video has brought you guys value, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.